waifus. Truly, they are the glue that holds society together. Without them, we would be a world of waifuless cucks. Luckily, they do exist. So we aren't cucks. Originally, I was going to end off the year by reviewing my favorite movie of all time, the Peanuts movie. But then I realized, that's whack. No one gets on YouTube to watch a sentimental, heartfelt review. You get on YouTube to get hard. To get moist. To get cultured. So, to end off the decade, I will be counting down my top five waifus of the decade. Get ready, because I'm about to make all 6,000 of my subscribers lose whatever little faith they had in me. Don't do it. No, that's not good. Number five is Princess from How to Tube. Let's be real, guys. If one of your waifus isn't one of your own OCs, you're basically a spineless cuck. Ladle God. You should be willing to pipe down what you create. Princess is a lovable little scamp who will be appearing in How to Tube at some point. She speaks in broken English because she's stupid. But it's a cute kind of stupid. She also wears green, which is like objectively the best color. So, anyway, I can't say anything else about her or else I'll be fucked to Sunday and back by my NDA. No, no, no. At number four, we have Bernadetta from Fire Emblem Three Houses. She was abused by her dad. I don't care what the update changed her dialogue to say. Nintendo is just trying to hide the truth. Her dad tied her to a chair, beat her, and made her watch Chipwrecked on repeat until she never wanted to leave the room. And that's why I love her. I love broken girls. I love girls with problems. I love girls who were abused. I like girls who despite whatever adversity they are put through, they find ways to rise above the pain and better themselves however possible. Bernie is not one of those girls. At least not till the time skip. At least she's cute. At least she has that going on. No, don't do it. No. Number three is Amy Rose from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Yes, the rumors are true. I want to sex a hedgehog. Does that make me a furry? Probably. Am I okay with that? If I get to sex the hedgehog, then yes. Amy is the poster child for my NSFW Twitter account. If you follow me, you know how much I love her. She's loyal, she's passionate, she's pink, she's cute, and she's horny on main. What more could you want from a girl? She was originally number two, but she was bumped down a spot because she actually became my waifu last decade. So, you know, she kind of cheated. Lamau. No, 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 no. Coming in at number two is Natsuki from Doki Doki Literature Club. If you remember earlier, I mentioned that I love girls who have been abused. <coughs> girls who, despite whatever adversity they are put through, find ways to rise above the pain and better themselves however possible. Natsuki sort of does this through baking sweets. As well as being sweet. And sexy. Aside from that, she doesn't do much. She sort of just dips from the game after a while. But you know what they say, women are boo. But all cards on the table, she only got this spot because of the deep, tangled lore that I have developed for her and the other girls in my mind. Lore that is so complex and expansive that there is no possible way that I'd ever be able to explain it and all of its intricacies. Lore that delves deep into Project B and how to tube in ways that only someone as big brain as me could possibly understand. Also, I dream about holding her hand. Uh, her hand is always surprisingly cold, but the sensation of holding her hand and hugging her makes it worth it. I'm a virgin. And number one, Rarity from the My Little Pony franchise. That's right. Expected it to be the horse. I mean, except for everyone who used to comment about the MLP poster and took notice how I over <laughs> her for jokes. But you really should have expected this. She's perfect. She's a hundred percent focused on expanding her business. She's an artist. She's generous beyond belief. She's white. 
she's a horse, she's perfect. Even better, she was introduced at the beginning of the decade and left me at the end of it. She'll always have a special place in my heart since she came from the show that saved my life and showed me how much I love the world of animation. So yeah, I basically want to fuck a horse. See.